Here I am once again, doing a vlog. Time to check in, talk about some things that have been on my mind, as normal, as usual. Um, to piggyback off of what I've been discussing lately with creativity and protecting your creativity and the ways that you need to harness your creativity and be healthy and good to your own soul, your own mind, your heart, respecting your emotions, respecting your thought process, the creative process, guarding your creativity so that you can use it for the maximum potential that it is, not letting anything rule it. I kind of want to continue in that same vein, but slightly switch gears. And something that I've noticed lately, and you can tell a lot by the way that our media is functioning, you can tell a lot by the way that our political sphere is functioning, you can tell a lot by the way that our personal lives are functioning that we are in a moment where I think that we need to realize we are in a post-conflict world. What do I mean? If you actually take a look around at data and statistics and everything, contrary to what you might feel, and it seems hard to believe when I say this, we are actually living in one of the most non-violent times in human history. Our problem is, is that the way that our political structure functions, the way that even our entertainment is structured, the way that our media, news media specifically, is structured is that turmoil and hardship and scary things are what keep you engaged. There's a lot of truth to that. You won't be engaged if the news tell you, tells you it's sunny and 70, you're gonna turn it off and go outside. But if the news tells you that your rights are being taken away or that something is being destroyed or tampered with, you're gonna stay tuned in and you're gonna want more and you're gonna wanna know answers. So what do I mean in this post-conflict world? I think that warfare is probably gonna end. It should end. There's no reason for it to continue. We've evolved beyond that. Not a, it's, it's no longer a necessary component of of humanity and the way that I see it is we're past that and so with that being said on a macro level a wide scale I believe that exists on a micro level within our own lives and so what do we do when we take the engines of our society and the engines of our economy and the engines of all these little aspects of our lives that seem to be focused on conflict I think we need to change the gears of humanity and therefore the gears of yourself. It has to start with us. If it doesn't start here, it'll, it'll, never, it'll never grow outward to affect the systems that we need to change. And that is that we're post-conflict. And so to help that, I think that we need to focus on innovation. We need to focus on scientific and medical innovation and infrastructure innovation and improving people's lives. Now, while all of that seems wildly disconnected and, and dramatic when compared to talking about art, I think that being creative and artistic is a big part of this. And I think that artists and creative types like yourself and like me and like Kyle can greatly influence this. And that is that we can focus on having creativity be an engine and be a thing that's celebrated, and a thing that's emulated, and a thing that's taught, and a thing that we need to focus on. And through creativity, it can branch off and spiral off to affect all of these areas in our lives that need to change permanently and dramatically. Now, nothing can happen overnight, nothing can happen in isolation, and we have to strive and push towards this, and it starts with us, it really does. As cliche as that may seem, as you know, unimportant as that might make you feel and, and insignificant you might be, no, it starts with you. If you're gonna have children one day, like I have, it needs to start with you so that you can instill this in the generations after us. And then those people will eventually be leaders and will rule things and govern things and dictate things and entertain us and create art and influence our 
social, uh, social structures and all of these things that really need to be addressed and that are vitally important to ourselves, we can change it from this post-conflict mindset to where we no longer need to be at odds with each other. We can just create and we can be free to create things. And that's why protecting your creativity and harnessing your creativity, in my opinion, is extraordinarily valuable for the betterment of the entire world. And that's part of the thing that I would like to inspire. That's part of the thing that Kyle would like to inspire. That's part of the thing that both of us would like to inspire on the entire world, on you, on ourselves, on our families and on our friends, is to focus on being creative and being powerful with our creativity and allow that to be the engine that drives forward. And not to use our creativity to continue to drive the wedge between people groups and continue to drive the wedge between nations and continue to drive the wedge between political groups and continue to drive the wedge between families and friends. And you see the idea. We need to focus on harnessing our creativity and celebrating that and allowing that to be an economic engine where I feel like things like the, the YouTube, <laughs> the internet, vlogs, blogs, Instagram, social media, influencers, you can be something significant that can change life in a significant way. And I think the power is actually in the hands of the little man, so to speak, the little woman, the little person, and that we can all work together in a little way to create something big. And I hope that that's what this inspires you to do because I'm inspired to do that, which is why I'm putting this out into the world and onto the internet for the world to absorb and to hear and to think about and ponder. And I don't have it all figured out, I'm not perfect. I'm just a guy from a small town and I probably will be until the day I die. But I have a big heart and a big mind and a lot of creative ideas and I wanna share them. And in turn, I hope that it inspires you. Thank you for watching, thank you for supporting. Please continue to support and follow and subscribe and share. It means a lot to us, thank you.